What is going on, everyone? How's the world treating you? I hope good. How about we sail on over to the Sunshine State and take a look at the city of Tampa? Did you know that more than half the people in this country think the city is called Tampa Bay, Florida, when in fact it's just Tampa, Florida? Tampa Bay is the name of the bay in which the city sits on, along with St. Petersburg, Florida, and McDill Air Force Base. I had an next door neighbor that was stationed there for like three years. He said it was the most amazing place to be stationed. He always referred to it as like the best three years of his youth. Tampa is a great city. I haven't been there since I was in my late 20s, but I hear it's still great. But, you know, even though it's great, it is a big city, and you know, like all big cities, it's gonna have its problems. Tampa Bay has just under 400,000 residents, and when you figure in the whole metro area, it's about 2.5 million. Tampa was incorporated in December of 1855, and then again in July of 1887. I guess the first one didn't take, or they wanted a second grand opening or something, I don't know. Tampa is one of those cities that people always want to move to, especially if you're in the hospitality industry, or you're a pirate. They have a big pirate festival every single year there. It's in January, so that kind of tells you how cool their weather is that, you know, they can hold a festival like that in January. And if you've ever been to a pirate festival, women wear next to nothing. So that's kind of hard to pull off in Minnesota in January, you know? If you're a pirate looking for a place that may be more tolerant of your lifestyle choices, Tampa could be your new home. But before you go, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Tampa, Florida. Number 10. Not for retirees. Despite the overwhelming number of retirees in Tampa, many will argue that the city just isn't the place for them, and they belong in other cities like Sarasota or Clearwater. This is because during the summer and spring break, Tampa, like Miami, is a very popular location for partygoers, and the retirees are very local about not being fans of the young people. You know, there's nothing worse than going to get the early bird special at the local diner and some punk has parked his Jeep in your parking spot. You know the parking spot you use? all the time, he's there, and it's making you mad. There he is, just hanging out with all those 20-year-old college girls wearing almost nothing. Nobody wants to see that. Actually, well, never mind. Forget what I just said. It's great for retired men with solid heart medication. Gina, I think we're moving to Tampa. Number 9. Public Transit Tampa is not the place to go if you're a public transit commuter. According to the Tampa Bay Times, out of 30 of the largest metro areas, Tampa ranks 29th in public transit coverage and usage. I think they only beat out Chernobyl. The bus system is a nightmare, and that's a description by the locals. There's no real light rail to speak of. You need a car or a good pair of shoes if you live in Tampa. Or work from home. That's always an option. Number 8. Speed Traps So depending on what side of this you're on, it's either genius or a dick move. They have crappy public transit, so everyone drives. And they pretty much lead the state in speeding and other traffic tickets. Tampa is known within the area for their speed traps. It's like legendary. Officers take pride in their ability to catch speeders and often brag about it. So be aware and slow down. Now, it sucks if you drive, but it's a great source of revenue for the city. So that's why I say it's either genius or dick move. I vote dick move. Number seven, housing. Housing in Tampa can get tricky. Rent and home prices are typically higher the closer you get to the water, which is why the average rent is 6% higher than the national average. If it's not going to kill you not to live directly on the bay, go a handful of blocks in and you'll see a giant drop in price, like all places that have oceanfront property. But in reality, compared to other cities that are on the shore like this, this isn't terrible. Unless, of course, you're coming from some place that doesn't have an ocean, or in this case, a bay attached to a gulf. To them, them, these prices are crazy. I grew up in a beach town south of Los Angeles and our prices were freaking ridiculous. Number six, it's dirty. The city of Tampa is just plain dirty, and the air pollution doesn't help. It seems as though there's trash everywhere in Tampa. No one here knows anything about recycling, which is why the pollution index is 49% worse than the national average. Now, it is deceiving when you visit. In the tourist areas, they do a great job of making this city sparkle. Leave those areas, and it looks like a bunch of pirates live here. Number five, Tampa Bay. Now this isn't one of those things that you wouldn't move to a place because of. And I know, I also know that that was a double negative, so stop typing. This is just something you should know. If you wanna piss off your neighbors, call the city Tampa Bay instead of Tampa. Like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of you out there. Tampa is a city, Tampa Bay is the bay. Referring to the city as Tampa Bay, Florida instead of Tampa, Florida really gets under their skins and they will tell you about it. Number four. 
It's bad for your skin. Tampa is in Florida. Florida is known as the Sunshine State. Sunshine in excess is bad for your skin. Tampa has a lot of sunshine and a lot of people that have skin. And a lot of that skin looks like beef jerky and they're only 30 years old. Wear sunscreen and use lotion. If you have small kids, you need to be on top of this. Try amlactin. Now, I suggested one before, but it's not everywhere. My friend that's an esthetician, she says amlactin is everywhere. Every drugstore you go to, you'll find it. It's really good, she said. Now, I'm a big advocate of this because I grew up in sunny California. California, and myself and some friends have had some problems with sun damaged skin as we got older. Don't be a bad or lazy parent. Lotion your kids up and use sunscreen. Number three, the heat. Tampa is hot. Heat is a byproduct of all that sunshine I was just talking about. In the winter, the weather rarely drops below the 60s, while in the summers, it can get into the triple digits without a problem. To make matters worse, the humidity here is always very high. The good news is you'll never have to shovel your driveway. If you do, you're on drugs. That's not snow. Stop shoveling. Number two, it smells. The city of Tampa stinks a majority of the time, especially in warm weather, which is most of the time in Tampa. The biggest problem is the export of phosphates, which is used in creating fertilizer. In other words, the city smells like manure most of the year. If you're from a dairy farm, you'll feel right at home. For the rest of us, it takes some getting used to. And number one, natural disasters. Tampa is no stranger to the occasional natural disaster. Over the last decade, Tampa has experienced multiple disasters, including hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, and sinkholes. When Hurricane Irma went through a couple of years back, it drained Tampa Bay. Look at this picture. Those people should be underwater. It's really weird. Make sure your homeowners or renters insurance covers these. You really should ask. If you've never felt like you needed renters insurance, you do especially in Tampa. Natural disasters are scary. Normally a place might be prone to one or two different types. Tampa gets all of them but blizzards pretty much. And that's kind of a reason you might not want to move to Tampa. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Tampa. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Tampa really isn't a bad city. If you notice things like schools, crime, and unemployment didn't make this list, they make it on almost every single one of the videos I do about cities or states. They just have some things that some people might not like if they're thinking about moving there. That's what this video is all about. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.